So using that idea of finding the derivative equation, the slope of the graph at any point x, I can say, let's do this example, f of x is x squared plus 1. Find the formula for the slope of the graph. Well, we're going to use that difference quotient. m of tangent is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. And so we can make a little scoreboard over here. I would like to know what is f of x plus h? Well, our function rule says take your input, square it, and add one, which means our input squared plus one. And if this is x plus h, I have to, I have to do x plus h times x plus h. Look at my good algebra skills. Please don't say that's x squared plus h squared because we have middle terms of oi. I have to use FOIL there, good algebra skills, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 1. That's my f of x plus h. Clearly, f of x is simply that. So this is going to give us the limit as h approaches 0 of what's f of x plus h. I just did it x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 1 minus, well, f of x was given to us as x squared plus 1 all over h, which is limit h approaches 0 of x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 1, distribute, distribute, minus x squared minus 1 divided by h. Anything to cancel? Well, if x squareds have been good little x squareds, they go off to number heaven, and plus one and minus one do as well, which gives us the limit as h approaches zero of 2xh plus h squared divided by h. Now, let's just do this mentally. If we put in a zero, a zero for h in all three cases here, we're going to get that indeterminate form, zero over zero, which means we have to have a plan B, which means we're going to, in this case, use the dividing out technique that we're so good at. I can factor out an H in the numerator. I'm left with 2X plus H over H. Because I have multiplication there, I can cancel. And now with my surviving function, I can substitute in the zero and I get 2X. So that is my slope of the tangent at any point on the curve. I found it. That's my derivative function. So if we say f of x is equal to x squared plus 1, we say f dash of x is equal to 2x. Guys, you're doing calculus. You just found the derivative. Congratulations. If f of x is x squared plus 1, we just found f dash of x, that's how you read the derivative, is 2x. Well, what does that mean? Now, I was talking about the power of this earlier. Let's find the slope of the graph when x is 1. Well, if I find f dash of 1, that's going to be 2 times 1 or 2. What does that mean? That means the slope here is up 2 over 1, which makes sense. That's the derivative at that point. It's the rate of change at that point. How about negative 1 at x equals negative 1? Well, f dash of negative 1, I'm going to plug into this, is 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. That's the slope here. Or the rate of change at this point. And I am expecting down and over, I'm expecting a negative rise over run. How about f dash of 0? If I do f dash of 0 and I'm plugging into this, I get 2 times 0, which is 0. Well, that means the slope of this tangent line is 0. Don't forget, slope of a horizontal tangent line is 0. So I get the three different slopes for three different inputs. Depends on where my input is. Once I have this derivative function, then I can find the slope of the tangent at any point on the curve. That's why we say this is so doggone powerful. We love this. Bonus, I can't resist. It's not in our curriculum, but come on. We just did all that work. And you might ask yourself, boy, is there a shortcut? Sure there is. 
If f of x equals x to the n, then the derivative function, which tells us the slope of the tangent at any point on this particular curve, is n x to the n minus 1. What did we do here? Well, this is 1. And so we multiply. You've seen these exponent rules when we talked about exponential functions and logs. It's almost like the power rule. The exponent becomes the coefficient. Actually, you're going to multiply them. n times whatever's out in front will give you n. And then what did we do? We subtracted 1. So my little ditty for finding the derivative is multiply exponent by coefficient and then subtract 1. Or I just say multiply and subtract, multiply and subtract, multiply and subtract. If f of x, in this last problem, f of x was x squared plus 1. Well, that's 1x squared plus 1x to the 0. You've got to be careful there. Now, to find the derivative, I'm going to multiply the 2 by 1 and then subtract 1. So that'll give me 2x to the 1 plus, now I multiply 0 times 1 is 0 times, that. it doesn't matter, right? Because anything times 0 is going to give us 0. So how do we clean this up? Do I really need to write plus 0? Nope. Do I really need to write to the first power? Nope. Oh yeah, that's what we found by doing all that work. Look how sneak I am with that shortcut.